<clears throat> Hi there, um, Mayor Craig and Alderman. Um, I've made a prepared statement just to kind of make it flow again um, to present um, my request. So thank you for the opportunity to speak with you today. My name is Ann Strachan, and I am the Director of Mental Health Services for Granite Pathways and the Executive Director of its two clubhouses, Manchester Pathways in Manchester and Seacoast Pathways in Portsmouth. According to data, Manchester has the unfortunate distinction of having high rates of several challenging issues, including although I have to say I love the refugee program that was just really positive, um, but including suicide as the second leading cause of death for young people as well as the highest per capita drug abuse rate in New England. Substance misuse and mental health care are the number one and two problems in the populations that CMC and Elliott Hospital serve. Research shows that at least half of those with alcohol or drug misuse have at least one psychiatric disorder. Co-occurring uh, prevalence is very high in Manchester. Before Granite Pathways became the larger behavioral health organization that it is today, it started as a mental health clubhouse on Elm Street. I'm sure some of you remember. Uh, the clubhouse operated for five years to 2015, funded by private donations and foundation support, and addressed many of the above needs. Briefly, the Clubhouse model of psychosocial rehabilitation is a mental health recovery program that helps adults with mental health challenges as well as those with co-occurring substance use disorders. It is a widespread practice in 32 states and worldwide and new clubhouses beginning each year and it, this is because it's cost effective and has proven results. The model offers a variety of services including helping those who are moving from homelessness to, to successful housing, as well as employment. Members run all aspects of the program alongside staff. Through this experience of doing meaningful work, making friends, and practicing the expectation, expectations needed for successful employment, members gain skills and confidence to reach their goals. And the healing happens through improved self-worth, building social skills, increased self-esteem, and being part of the community. Those coming from being hospitalized or incarcerated have a safe, supported place to go to successfully reintegrate, reducing the likelihood of recidivism. In addition, through the clubhouse relationships with referral partners and clinicians in the community, members can more easily access health and behavioral health integrated care, keeping people from slipping through the cracks heading towards crisis. The clubhouse also has phased employment programs that, um, and that help that rehospitalization is cut dramatically. Most of our members fall well below the poverty line, so the opportunity to successfully become independent through work is very empowering. Healing plus earning money is a win for members and, a, and for Manchester. The original Granite Pathways Clubhouse had very impressive results. And I'll be glad to talk more about that program, but there were 254 members when they closed in December 2015, um, three quarters of whom were Manchester residents. And through um, surveys and reporting that that clubhouse did, we, we know that 60% were employed or were in school, 96% were better able to cope with their mental illness symptoms, 84% experienced decreased crisis situations and e ER visits. 82% felt their mental health had improved. 68% reported an increased interest in seeking paid employment. And 60% reported their physical health had improved. The clubhouse model works. It's cost effectiveness, high social return on investment, and impressive health and wellness outcomes are the measures of its success. Granite Pathways is bringing back the Manchester Clubhouse and is seeking funds from CIP to help with the costs. At present, the clubhouse is located, is co-located with the Granite Pathways Doorway Hub on Belmont Street. We fully expect that once we are going full time, the clubhouse will quickly return to the participation numbers of the original program. Many are anxious to resume involvement, plus we will have plenty of new referrals. 
Our cost per member with staffing needed is approximately $2,500 a year, which is, as you know, a small fraction of the cost of hospitalizations and crisis situations. This next year, we anticipate approximately 100 members. Our goal is to gain accreditation through Clubhouse International and um, so that we are practicing the full fidelity of the model and people are getting the greatest help that they can. Again, this is a win for healing and a win for Manchester. We appreciate the support of the CIP. Thank you. Can you tell me specifically what the $2,500 that you're requesting would go toward? It would go towards staffing costs. That's what we'd use it for. So if you don't receive it? Well, we have a kind of diverse funding strategy right now, and so, and we've just received two significant grants, one from Eastern Bank Charitable Foundation, another from the Bean Foundation, and we're applying for several others, as well as um, we have received approval for Medicaid billing f on the, for um, when we are an accredited clubhouse f for those with the co-occurring substance use disorders. And the mental health side is also trying to get that same um, approval for Medicaid billing for peer support. And um, so if we don't get these funds, it will just mean that it slows us down. <laughs> we want, we are determined, we want, we know that this program it's, can make a really, a very big difference. Um, we are piecing together our funding and because we he are here in Manchester and, what it, and the, the numbers that we serve, that we hope that the city will be able to support us as well. Okay. And are you getting any help from the state? So the state, I mean, Granite Pathways, uh, Safe Station, Hub, um, rent is being covered through that program. So you, right. you don't have to deal with that, correct? Well, we, we um, though, you know, certainly part of Granite Pathways and they're hugely supportive to us, we, we are our own program too. So um, part of the grant that we received will go towards our share of the lease costs. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.